Ned, and we're here at Ark Swift Primary, and we always talk about football acting as a great vehicle. And this was a brilliant demonstration of how football has been used to educate across a whole platform of different subjects. Yes, it has. Um, it's, I didn't really know much about it before I came, but upon arriving and really looking into it, it's, uh, it's a brilliant idea. I think usually some of the subjects which they cover, they cover it in such a way where by people are more engaged and, they can be, and they're being entertained by it. Because sometimes to just be in the classroom, tell someone just lecture you isn't, isn't ideal. But here there's something which is going to hopefully keep people, I'd say, entertained and reading the books. You're learning stuff as well as enjoying yourself. I've seen a, a lot of assemblies before. I don't think I've quite seen such enthusiasm for, for children towards physics, biology, geography. You've, you've stumbled on something here, haven't you? Well, we, we think football is a great way of learning about the world and we're really passionate about getting kids into learning but also into reading and literacy. And we think you can explain everything through football and so the combination of football and learning is a really compelling one for kids because especially for boys a lot of kids drop out of reading or are less engaged in the reading process around the age of eight or nine. Alex is a well-known science writer. I've spent my whole, my whole career writing about football. So between us we have a knowledge and a skill set that can write about football in a fun way but also make it educational. So kids think they're reading about football but they're actually learning about the world as well which is why parents and teachers really like it. When we talk about pre-season we often talk about disguised running and this seems to be a great demonstration of disguised learning for the oh, kids here. Yeah I'm gonna have a headache at the end of this after what I've just been through today but I'd, I'd say when it, when it was happening it was, it was brilliant. I think um, to see that many kids like waving their hands up in the air to be nominated to come up to the front to talk about physics and stuff like this. It's, it, it was incredible, it really was incredible. And I think uh, hopefully with more things like this come forward because I think it could be a great success. And when you see how engaged the youngsters are, that must really give you a lot of pleasure. Yeah, hugely, hugely. We have had so many emails from parents saying that my kid doesn't want to read, but he loves reading your book. From yeah, parents, from teachers, from the kids themselves and you saw in the hall today you know we put how many people love football everyone put their hands up whenever we're asking almost any question everyone wants to put their hand up and while you've gone on to be very successful in football education was something that was important to you and to your family yeah it was imperative to be honest i think um sometimes i do forget this but if i wasn't working as hard as I did during, um, when I was in school and such, I don't think I would have had the opportunity to turn professional in football. And considering it's everything now and it takes up all your time, you, know, you can forget about moments like that. But there were certain days where I wasn't allowed to go and train with, say, City's Academy because I hadn't managed to do my homework on time. So it only needs to happen once or twice for you to realise that that homework's going to be done on time every single time if you want to really go and enjoy yourself. And I say further down the line, I hope it can make a big difference. Ark Swift Primary and QPR have a, a long-standing relationship. How beneficial was it to have Nedim Anua here this afternoon as part of your visit? Well, it was brilliant because Nedim is an inspiring person, a fantastic role model for all the children because when he was a kid, he worked really hard. He did, um, did amazingly well in his GCSEs. He studied for A-levels, all while becoming a professional footballer at one of the biggest clubs in the world. So it's fantastic that he is a fan of the book, engaged in the process, and kids can look up to him, as well as hopefully look up to us, but in a slightly different way, and say, if I do read, if I do concentrate on my education a little bit more, I can still achieve my dreams. Today is also an example of QPR being more about what happens on a football pitch, a very important role it has in the community. Yeah, that's from my whole time at the club. I think seeing the effect that the club has, you know, with all the communities which are close by and further afield, I think it sort of reminds you that there's more to football than just playing on a Saturday at three o'clock. When you can have communities and you can you can go out to them and make a difference. Like I love going to classrooms because I can see some of these young people how moments like this today, some of them might forget it and not care about it at all. But for some people, it could be the biggest thing they've done this year. It could be something which they talk about in 10 years time. It could be something which they talk to their kids about in the future. And as long as you're trying to provide the right sort of message, which the club does every single time, then you know there's going to be some sort of uh, benefit to the, to the people who are involved every single time.